Ayo, peep this. We got three um, disturbing TikTok murders on deck. Well, we only going to react to two because we already did one of them. Anyway, we hopping straight into this. If you enjoy these videos, let me know down in the comments some other things you want to see me react to. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Let's get into it. The following stories tell the tales of real cases in which TikTok played a role in a murder. <sighs> Ali Abu Laban was at one time a TikTok celebrity. He had over 1 million followers and was known for doing pop culture impersonations. In some of his videos, his wife Anna would join in. The pair appeared to be madly in love and had a cute relationship that others admired. Anna also had her own account on TikTok and she would upload videos to that as well. The pair would dance, play around, and tease each other. The pair also shared a five-year-old daughter. To outsiders looking in, it seemed like they had everything. I was just about to say that. They seem like the, you know, nice little happy-go-lucky mugs. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you know what I'm saying? He, TikTok famous, booming, probably getting a nice little coin. She wasn't doing too bad herself on there, you know? But uh, that's the thing about social media. They only show you the good. They lived in a high-rise apartment in San Diego, California. They were beautiful people who were living a beautiful life, or so it appeared. Anna's life in San Diego was much different than the life she had been born into. She was born in 1993 in Japan to Filipino parents and didn't move to the United States until later in life. She was known for being kind, compassionate, and a loyal friend. Unfortunately, as time went on, trouble began to brew in her relationship with her husband. Ali became more and more possessive of his wife, and he even became violent. Ali viewed Anna as a beautiful possession that he couldn't bear to lose. He went to great lengths to hold control over her. The pair worked hard to conceal their relationship. That really sound like everybody's relationship for real, for real. You either wanted to do it or you don't. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, I guess people could be a little possessive and aggressive, but bro, like nine times out of 10, if you got a faithful man, he probably gonna be a little possessive because he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> you upset know if you are, if you got somebody that's just like, all right, go ahead, whatever. Dude, go and come as you please. He don't care. He got some other shit to do too, for sure. And ship troubles from the public and pretend to be the same happy-go-lucky couple. But Anna's closest friends picked up on what was going on and became concerned for her. Ali was aggressive, dominant, and talked over people. He also wasn't afraid to boast about his accomplishments and financial success. He seemed to resent her friends and the time that they would spend together. The more her social life grew, the angrier he became. He was actually trying to get a divorce at that time when he killed her, one of Anna's friends later recalled. She was actually trying to get a divorce at that time when he killed her. Ali's behavior got scarier. Oh, he killed her. I thought she was about to kill him. <laughs> oh, I ain't trying to laugh. Oh, man. And scarier. He felt that his wife partied too much and hated that she would attend social gatherings without him. It was clear... Oh yeah, she was fast. That's what it was. She out here running around and he's pissed. That he was becoming more and more unhinged, even causing his family to not want to be around him. To make matters worse, he was also engaging in drug use, something his fans would soon find out about. While filming an Instagram Live one day, Ali was drinking and ended up pulling out a bag of drugs that he would go on to snort while still on camera. At first, his fans Oh, uh, yeah, he let the money and fame get to him. He's a different case. <laughs> I wasn't defending him. He's a different breed. I thought that this was just a skit he was doing, but became disturbed when they realized that he wasn't pretending. The red flags were beginning to add up. The next day, Ali released a weak apology. He claimed that it had been his first time ever engaging in drug use and that he realized how dangerous it was. He then went on a strange and confusing rant in which he discussed how he didn't like his wife being around other men and that it made him uncomfortable. In September of 2021, Anna told the police that he had pushed her, causing some minor injuries. She was done with their marriage and wanted to get a restraining order against him. On October 8th, as she should have, and she should have stuck to that for real. He 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 out here abusing drugs and her. He's he. he 
Yeah, she ain't had no good with him. She asked her estranged husband to leave the apartment that they shared with their daughter. Allie's behavior became more and more erratic. He began drinking heavily, even posting videos of himself driving while drinking out of a bottle of red wine. During this time, he continued to reach out to Anna, who had refused to pick up his calls. His family begged him to give her some space, but he couldn't be reasoned with. Ali had no plans to leave Anna alone, and he hatched a disturbing plan. When he knew that Anna wasn't home, he snuck back into the apartment and downloaded a special app on his daughter's iPad. Through this app, he would be able to spy on them and know what was going on at the apartment. Before leaving, he vandalized and trashed the apartment. Sure enough, while listening in on Anna, Ali heard the sound of a male voice accompanied by her laughing. He became so enraged, he could not think straight, and he automatically assumed that Anna was cheating on him. The man that Anna was with... Cheating on him? Dang it. You just, for four minutes, you just, two, well, two of those four minutes, you just was saying how she left him, left him alone, ain't answering his calls. That's no longer cheating, my brother. Was 29-year-old Rayburn Canedas Barron. Despite Ali's assumptions, Rayburn and Anna were just friends. Ali drove to the apartment in a blind rage and shot Rayburn, Rayburn three, three times, times killing, him. killing him. He then shot Anna in the head, killing her as well. After the horrific murders, he fled the scene and drove to his daughter's school to pick her up. It was then that he told the confused little girl that he had hurt mommy. He confessed to his own mother over the phone while driving away from his daughter's school. Oh. And then you know what be making it even worse? Like he's even such, even way more of a clown. You went and picked this child, you killed her mother, then picked the child up and said, I hurt mommy. And she gonna remember stuff like that. Not even, I mean, not even only her mom passing away, but you telling her and you the one that did it, bro, you's a clown. He was arrested a short while later while his daughter was still in the car. Despite the overwhelming evidence that he committed the gruesome acts, Ali claims that he is innocent and pleaded guilty to the double homicide. It's possible that if he is convicted, he may face the death penalty. He he might be one of them people. The death penalty is, you know, that's kind of crazy. But to, to be stalking somebody, they trying to they get a restraining order on you, leave you, divorcing you, you abusive, you doing drugs, drinking and drink, bro. You you put some spy equipment in my house. Found out that somebody was over there with me, came and killed him and her, bro. You's a clown. You are you's a clown. I already seen this Williams story. I already seen this one, so uh, this is the one we're gonna skip. Mahek Bukhari is a 22 year old TikTok star from Mahek Bukhari. Mahek Bukhari is bad. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. RIP, bro. Hey. Wow. I hope this story ain't as sad as the rest of them, but. Here we go. Ari is a 22-year-old TikTok star from Leicestershire, England. She has a relatively large audience with over 120,000 followers and over 3.2 million likes. She filmed videos recreating popular trends as well as makeup and fashion tutorials and videos with her mother and friends. Most of her videos seemed pretty innocent and lighthearted. That is, until she posted one unsettling video on January 3rd, 2022, in which she joked about having to confess to killing someone. She seemed to smile as Shawn Mendes' song, It'll Be Okay, played over the clip. While most of her followers probably thought this was nothing more than a silly TikTok video, it was actually foreshadowing a very dark event to come. In February of 2022, Mahek, her mother, Ansreen Bukhari, and a 21-year-old woman named Natasha Akhtar were involved in a car chase. They chased two 21-year-old cousins named Mohammed. Ahmed Hashim Ijazuddin and Saqib Hussein and eventually ran them off the road, destroying their car and taking both of their lives instantly. Two men named Reyes Jamal and Raken Karwan have also been charged in connection with the car chase, but it has not been released what role they played in this horrific tragedy. I might be getting too far ahead of myself, but why did they run their own family off the side of the road? 
The vehicles that were involved in the crash include a silver Sakota Fabia, a gray Audi TT, and a blue Seat Leon. While the exact routes the cars took is still being pieced together, it is known that they were traveling at great speeds. It's unclear what sparked these three women to want to chase down the men. However, it is known that Mahek has been involved in some tension with other people in the past. Last year, she claimed that she had beef with other influencers and had felt the need to disassociate with them as a result. I would say beef was coming to me last year and I cut off loads of people. Lots of TikTokers actually, which was really good for my mental health as well, Mahek said. Now I'm literally thriving and growing. She also wasn't afraid to engage in risky behavior. In one of her TikToks, a flashy car is seen screeching recklessly through a parking lot, while in another clip, she is seen filming herself while driving. The video was tagged by TikTok with a warning that read, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. After their arrests, Mahek and her mother were brought into court. During this time, the judge asked them if they understood the severity of their charges. They both only said one word, yes. They will face a hearing on March 18th and will likely face trial in September of 2022. Meanwhile, the loved ones of Ija Zudin and Hussein are left to grieve the long lives that were ended far too soon. Sikandar Hayat, Ijuzin's father, said that at the time of the crash, Hussein was going through a hard time and his son was trying to help cheer him up. He had borrowed his grandfather's car and was using it to take Hussein to see a friend of theirs. Sakib was very down about things. Hashim loved him a lot and cared for all people in general. He would do anything to help somebody out, Hayat said. Will the fallen TikTok star and her mother spend the rest of their days in prison? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button. If anybody knows if her mom, her and her mom is uh, how, how long they got, because September of last year, yeah, they should have already got sense by now. That's some crazy stuff. And I said RIP to her. She the one that's doing the killing. She is too bad to be that angry to be running somebody off the road. Oh, man, there'd be some wicked stuff going on in the world, man. If you want me to give extended input, just let me know. If you cool with my small choppy input, let me know. Um, however you want it, I'll deliver it. But this is just, ups what they say, absurd, insane, <laughs> crazy, deranged. She's a nutball. Her mom's even crazier for letting her go through with it. Why you ain't stop her from doing, driving up to like you that? That's crazy. That's crazy. But no, we up out of here, man. Go ahead, MTV.